In this video, I'm going to go through the three rosin wraps on page 13 in your book. Remember, we have to make sure we have a good bow hold. I'm on a cello bow right now. We want to have a good bow hold for your rosin wrap exercises. Okay, your rosin is that small cake, looks kind of like this. Okay, you do not scratch the rosin. I don't know where that's come from, but you don't do anything to the rosin. It will activate on its own. You don't need to scrape it, scratch it. You wanna protect it. Rosin's fragile. You don't wanna drop it on a hard surface or it'll break. For cellos and bases, you wanna make sure you have your good bow hold. Here's my cello bow hold. Bases, you might be a French bow hold like this or the German bow hold around your bow. But you're gonna hold your bow and I will have you hold the rosin kind of near your belly button with your arm then down there, because that's about where we bow. Violins and violas, you can hold your rosin, okay? You can hold your rosin up by your shoulder and you can bow that way. I kind of hold it like this, like almost like a tray, and you can bow that way because that's kind of where we're bowing. And the idea is that we are gonna make a smooth, uh, precise motion with our arm. If you're a cello or a bass, your arm is gonna open with the shoulder and elbow and your wrist. You can see the arm motion I'm making right now. If you're a violin or viola, you're gonna focus on your motion being from your elbow and your wrist. Again, you can see the motion I'm making. Notice that violins and violas, your shoulder moves a lot less. If you start shoulder bowing, you look like you're going like this and your bow's not gonna go very straight. So violins and violas, elbow and wrist. You can try this motion with me. Cello bass, you're about at your belly button and your motion is arm out to the side and back. Notice that my shoulder is opening, my elbow is opening and my wrist is moving. So we're gonna go through these rosin wraps. I'm not gonna use the accompaniment in this video but you're always welcome to yourself. And we are gonna hold our rosin and we are gonna hold our bow and we're gonna move our bow back and forth in the rhythm. You'll notice that it talks about a down bow which is the sort of uh, open square and then an up bow which is a V shape down is our pulling bow pull pull up is our pushing bow push push okay be careful not to hit the rosin also on this metal part right here this is called the ferrule you will crack your rosin if you hit the metal part on your rosin so here we go here is rosin wrap number one one two Ready, and down, rest, up, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up, down, rest, up, rest. And it would repeat. Good. Now, you might have found, and even I just did it, my, but your bow might slide off the rosin a little bit. That's okay. Something else that's I think important to note is you don't wanna over rosin your bow. And if you do these rosin wraps a lot, you might end up with too much rosin on your bow. So one of the things I love using is a very simple toilet paper tube, okay? So I take a toilet paper tube. If you're worried about germs, let it sit for a few days before you use it. But I take a toilet paper tube and I stick the bow through the tube and then I can hold it. It's gonna make a noise. It's a little bit of a weird noise, but you'll be fine. And we can then, we can move our bow back and forth without putting too much pressure in our hand, without getting anything on our clothing. Okay, so I put the bow in and let that bow kind of sit in the toilet paper tube. You notice my fingers are really nice and relaxed. I don't wanna be squeezing the bow. I'm gonna do rosin wrap number two with my toilet paper tube. Here I go. One, two, ready, and down, up, down, rest, up, down, up, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, up, rest, repeat, down, up, down, rest, up, down, up, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, up. Rest, rest, good. If you are a violin or viola, you can take that toilet paper tube and you can put it up on your left shoulder and you can do the same thing. So now we're gonna go through rosin wrap number three with my shoulder toilet paper tube. It's just sitting right up on my shoulder. I have my fingers nice and relaxed. I'll do my violin bow hold now, my violin viola bow hold now. And let's go through rosin wrap number three with the repeat. One, two, 
Ready, and down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, up, down, up. Repeat, down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up. Good, and you can repeat these as many times as you want, especially with the toilet paper tube, you won't get rosin on your clothes. Again, keep an eye on tension in your hand. Cellos, if you're just holding your bow up in the air, cellos and bases, you're gonna start gripping it really funny and you're gonna squeeze. You wanna make sure that that bow is relaxed. Okay, that bow hold is relaxed. You can always hold the stick to make sure everything's relaxed. Check that your thumb is bent outwards. All violin, viola, cellos should have texting thumbs. Okay, bent outwards. Bases, if you are a French bow hold, then you have your thumb bent outwards. If you're a German bow hold, you do also have your thumb bent outwards. It's just a little different. Okay, and the fingers are nice and relaxed. That's one thing the toilet paper tube can help. Remember, you can always go back and do these videos as many times as you want. You can practice these on your own. Find yourself a toilet paper tube. Don't over rosin your bow. You don't need too much rosin. I usually tell my students maybe one or two times per week you can use the rosin and then the rest of the time you use the toilet paper tube. There you go, there are our rosin wraps.